Good morning to all of you, God's beloved children. Glad to be with you for another midweek devotion, trying to give you that spiritual energy to kind of carry you on through the rest of your week. And I'm hoping to do that with a story from the Gospel of John. We're going to be in the 15th chapter, sharing verses 1 through 5 together. So once again, John 15, verses 1 to 5, if you want to follow along in your Bibles. If you don't have a Bible near you when, I'm, when you're watching this devotion, that's okay. I will read that story for you. Um, you might notice it's a little bit different scenery today. I decided I wanted to record this outside in the beauty of the earth. Um, because sometimes, you know, just changing up your space and your place can kind of open you to new things. And so today, I'm coming to you from the deck. But let's begin with a word of prayer. Holy and gracious God, um, we give you thanks for what you reveal to us in Jesus. And how you have united us in him. May we abide in him daily. May you nurture us along the way. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'm curious um, if you have any experience with like, growing vines. You know, maybe you've planted morning glories or clematis. Uh, perhaps you have some grapes growing uh, somewhere around your place. You can let me know in the comments there for the video if, if that is something you have an experience with. And, when we lived back in North Dakota, we decided we wanted to plant a clematis vine because we wanted to hide the, the fence, which was not that pretty. And so we, we planted this vine with the hopes that it would kind of grow along the fence and disguise it a bit. The thing is that if you want it to grow in a certain way, well, then you have to train it to do that. Yeah, you have to, to bend it in certain ways for it to grow the ways you hope it will grow. Well, this idea of having to train something in a certain way to get like a certain result is something that came to mind for me with our devotional reading today. And so once again, this is from the Gospel of John, the 15th chapter, verses 1 through 5. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and God is the vine grower. God removes every branch of me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, God prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit. Because apart from me, you can do nothing. So what are we hearing in this devotional reading? We're hearing Jesus essentially make a promise to us. Saying that God is our, the vine grower. Right? God is seeking to train the branches of that vine, that is you and me, in a certain order. With the hopes to produce a certain fruit. Right? An abundance of fruit. I mean, that's the promise Jesus is making uh, to you and to me and to all. This promise that God will be the one who seeks to nurture our growth towards what God desires for our lives, right? And compassion, mercy, love, grace, these are God's desires. And that process of like bending, well, it, I feel like it's really captured in this beautiful poem, that I'm going to share with you. It's called Morning Glories. And it was written by Steve Garnis Holmes. On the porch, uh, the morning glory vines want to wander off into the eaves and get lost in the darkness behind the slats. Every morning I get out the ladder and train them up the post and across the and the, along the string across the lintel, gently rerouting the tendrils that have gone astray. You learn not to resist the way God gently bends your vines to bring your beauty into a good place. What I love about that is that there's, he captures this piece that we want to wander off, right? Into the eaves, you know, into the get hidden in the dark. Um, and that where it can be resistance to that training, to that bending that God brings into our lives. 
No, but God still uh, does it. No, God gets the ladder out every day and tries to reroute us, to retrain us, to bend us towards something beautiful and towards the beauty of God's grace and compassion brought into the world through us. God is the vine grower. And each and every day, God is bending us, those branches, towards God's beauty. Well, thank you all for joining me today. Glad to be with you. Let's close with a word of prayer. God, who is our source of life and who nurtures and sustains us, help us to not be resistant to the way in which you bend our lives. Help us to not seek to wander off, to get lost in the darkness, but rather to simply allow you to, to bend us towards your beauty. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all for being here with me uh, today. We'll see you again next week. Until then, God bless you all and have a great and wonderful day.